Hi everyone, I'm Jen. I want to talk about something um, even more out there than the Mandela Effect or seeing dead people or my sampler tray of, you know, happy, unexplainable happenings. Um, I know my channel is about, um, it started off because of the Mandela Effect and that's shown me um, that we, uh, that reality is not what we were programmed to believe. And, um, I know I've got new people, um, just met two more today. Um, Mr. Michael, hi. And, uh, Mr. Emissions, um, hello. Um, Sorry, but I just have to start sharing this uh, kind of stuff out there because because um, it's part of my reality, so I'm going to do it. Um, if you're new to the Mandela Effect, I'm so sorry um, um, that I'm going to jump into this. But um, I see, okay, back in the spring, um, the New Age-ish channels were talking about a wave coming in and... Um, I don't know if other people saw it the way I saw it. Um, that was the beginning of me seeing, um, oh, sorry, this is so hard to describe. <laughs> I see um, fluttering, flashing lights almost, um, and I can still see the, the regular um, scenery that we have here um, in regular world. Um, you know, earth world, but um, I could see through and it was a whole bunch of um, geometric shapes. And the, the thing that I can compare it to is like a, um, it's not the color of a, of a popsicle stick, but that shape. And, um, and so, you know how they make uh, frames out of them, uh, popsicle sticks or like, um, um, stars or wreaths. Sorry, a lot of people are um, texting me right now. Um, so if you think of um, one of those popsicle sticks, it would be um, flashing light and enough flashing lights within it that it looked like it was a conveyor belt, boom, 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 moving, moving, and then starting over. And um, it would be striped um, I, I called it rainbow, um, but the colors were, um, and are black, red, which is interesting because at the Last Supper, there's a lot of black and red now, um, as Adam LaFence pointed out. Um, but, uh, black, red, uh, green, blue at times and, um, cream, brown. Um, and these are not pastel colors. These are vivid colors. Um, do, 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 do. So, so if you imagine one of those popsicle style, um, stars, the geometric shapes are two, um, they're definitely straight lines. Oh, okay. If you imagine the, um, the popsicle, um, star, and then there's another one behind it, another one, and, and it's different shapes and it's not a star. I don't know what, what, um, geometric shapes it is, or they are because they, they vary, um, but it's so much stimulation and lights and movement and colors. And, um, I'm able to see regular life while it's happening. But, uh, at the very beginning, it would be, uh, I would see it here. And someone said, why don't you take a picture of it? It, I see it with my eyes. It's not visually here. Um, so I'm not able to, to take a picture of it. Um, and, uh, anyhow, what happened uh, yesterday, you know, it, it comes and goes, and uh, it was definitely increasing. And then yesterday, I don't know how to say this, guys, without sounding like a lunatic, but if you're in my ch on my channel watching, you know that I do not live an ordinary life. And most of you on here also experience the Mandela Effect or have uh, near-death experiences or have six senses kind of stuff so maybe you're um okay listening to this okay so i'm at the grocery store yesterday and i i, I did the past few days have had that increased um fluttering light geometric shape thing right 
Um, and uh, I'm talking to a person who works at the grocery store. And, you know, I talk to people. That's just, I talk to people. And uh, so we were just talking about something with his life. Somehow I'm able to always draw people to, to share about their stuff. Anyhow, we were talking and in the middle of an aisle and then boom, I see something peripherally, which happens frequently, but not like this. This was a flash of light. And so I look and there's nothing there. Sort of like those flashy geometric things because it would be off center, my eyes would try to look at it and then it would move. So, you know, that didn't work. So the same thing happened here with this flash of light. And so then, uh, because I'm practiced with these little, these smaller flashy thingies, um, I now have been practicing my, um, <laughs> my man skills of looking at pretty women peripherally where you think you're looking forward but you're really looking sideways anyhow sorry that's just you guys are really good at that um so I've been practicing that and so when this um thing flashed um and I look and that and it's not there so I'm like I'm wondering if it's that thing sorry I'm rambling but I don't know how to describe this so I go back to looking at the um, grocery store clerk and then I see it and the reason why I'm giggling because it's so embarrassing because Mr. Michael, you just, um, I just told you about this channel, um, and, uh, you knew people are gonna, uh, whatever, okay. I see a doorway, it's a, it's a rectangular space, um, upright, the rectangle's upright, and light is coming through it, and I keep getting texts, I feel like I'm being interrupted for a reason, and maybe I am, maybe it's too out there, I don't know, I'm gonna do it, maybe I'll post it, maybe I won't, um, but the light, the, the doorway has light coming through it. And then of course I look because I want to see it and then it moves and it moves away. Um, the closest thing that I could, um, relate this to the, the door to is, um, I'm going to lose some of you, but if you've watched older channels of mine, I, uh, was on bed rest one, um, summer 2012 I think and um yeah 2012 haha um anyhow I uh I don't know how many years before that maybe uh, since I was a kid I don't even know but when I close my eyes people would say you only see black I see an oval um it's still black um I actually see a uh, black and red ooh this is the same black and red color with the cream that those fleshy things are, uh, the same uh, depth of color. But um, I would see an oval sideways with a starburst of rays around it sometimes. And that um, 2012, when I was on bed rest, I thought, this is it. I'm going to start practicing the way an athlete practices uh, physical muscles, I thought maybe I can practice this because every once in a while I would see a flash of a photograph, um, like a still image, you know. And so what I did is I um, practiced and I was able to hold on to, uh, to the image long enough that I could identify what the, the photograph was. And then over time, I was able to, it, it became movies. And I know I've already talked about this. Um, but for those of you who are who are new, because I think it's related to whatever I just saw, the doorway. Um, okay, so, you know, so I practiced and eventually I, it got um, good enough that I had the movie. And I watched the whole movie in my mind's movie. And it's around here, not physically here, but when I close my eyes, it's here. Um and so, you know, a lot of my woo-woo messages come through images through the Minds movies as well. So um, there's something about this um, thing and, and the movie. Um, I'll try to find a link because I can explain to you what happened with that movie. Um, and I'll try to add that link. But um, I, another time last, um, I believe it was around ooh, December because it's December now. But either December or January, 
I did a personal breakthrough of um, personal understanding. And while I'm on the phone with a group of people, hi, Purple Flame, um, I... I didn't, I don't have to sleep by the way to see these. So I see the, um, a silhouette, I see the light coming through the, uh, the oval and, um, and then I see silhouette of people going, yay, yay, like she got it, she got it. So, um, this doorway that light was coming through reminded me of the light coming through, um, that oval and then another time that I saw a doorway was after my divorce so it was after 2001 but before 2004 so somewhere in there I um you know my mother's in Virginia so uh but I was in uh Georgia like I still am but in a, in a, a cozy condo and I see my mom I see her um a doorway opened maybe like this um and but I could see a door and as it's opened all this light shines through and then I see my mom and she's much younger she's I believe below and I've talked about this so maybe I'll I'll try to find that link too but um but I got to see her and uh that's how I'm able to see all of you where I see your essence um versus the form or actions that you're presenting here uh -huh. anyhow um so i'm wondering you know i'm at the grocery store <laughs> and i see a door opening or it's open it's just flash um and it's related to the thing and then you know i finished the conversation with the grocer that the it, it the door had closed or disappeared i don't know and then um, those flashy things were huge. They were more to the centered and moving, moving, moving. And I'm trying to hold on to, to what I'm seeing because, um, you know, there's background scenery um, as well. And so I get to the car and um, I actually try to call some of my friends and uh, my Emmy mate. Thank you so much for listening to me because it was overwhelming because it was larger the those fleshy geometrical shape things and um also they're always um lines but there is curvature because enough lines are put at an angle so that the row of them there would be a curve also this time the lines um some of them were made up of miniature lines making triangles I don't know if this helps. I'm just sharing. As usual, I'm just an experiencer. I don't have the answers, but um, because of the Mandela effect showing us that there are that we are multidimensional beings expressing ourselves, um, well, my belief is that we are in essence expressing ourselves through multiple uh, simultaneous experiences. And you know, I've since, as many of us have found out, that there are different versions of not only ourselves but different versions of our planet different versions of our family where my own family members have a different history than i do for some things it's mind-blowing right so if they're different dimensions and then 20 plus years ago hey delady um i didn't grow up with any spirituality or or religion so you know when the first dead person showed up um you know, it was not scary the way they make it out to be in the movies. It was lovely. All of my visits are lovely. Um, I do ask that only those in my highest good um, come and stay and the rest forever go away. So I definitely put a love bubble around me. And uh, if messages come through for others, I also ask that only the highest good uh, come and stay for me and the other person. I don't want to receive anything else. So I don't know if my free will or my intentions allows me to have good experiences you know um i definitely dealt with a uh, darker energy and have um love bubbled them with what i just said all right i'm tired but i wanted to go ahead and uh, share this i'm leaning against the wall um 
also, I want to thank you for, um, okay, Della is my new doggy, and um, uh, I do want to thank you, um, who people who have been um, helping me financially. Um, I'm good. I really don't need a lot of things, um, but Della D, she had her first bed appointment. They're the, um, they're the ones who saw her when they um, rescued her from, you know, being tied to a tree and her ears are all chewed up from the dog fights and stuff. But um, anyhow, at the risk of showing you my messy room, here's my Della D. <laughs> yes, there's a Della D. There's the Della D. Yeah. Okay, so I want to thank you because when you're um, supporting me, um, I'm not asking for donations. These are people who ask to help me. So um, you help pay for her special food. Um, when I went to the vet, they had seen her before, and they said, how is she doing with her GI issues? And... Um, um, she does definitely toot a lot is what I call farting or flatulence, but, um, she, when I first met her, she tooted bunches, but I did not know that she was having issues with, um, it coming out both ends. Um, so that's not been the case since we've had her, but you know, the, um, this dog was, um, chosen by the lovely lady who's given me a place to stay, um, when she found out I was uh, going to be homeless. Um, so it was her dog first that she was test driving and she started her on limited ingredient diet food, L-I-D, dog food. And it's really good food and the GI issues are, um, pretty much resolved. We get some toots every once in a while that are a little aromatic, but, um, but for me to continue, um, with this kind of food, it's expensive food um, because it's real food instead of, uh, you know, the fake stuff and fillers and whatever. She's been well this past month. Has it been more than a month now? Her health is fine. The vet was surprised. Um, I was kind of disappointed. They didn't tell me about it before I, uh, before we took her, but whatever. Um, I'm glad she came to us. And I want to thank you because... Whether it's a little bit or a lot that you're sending, like everything is bunching up into a bundle of love. And I don't know, you're softening my world, which means you're softening their world. Um, and I want to thank you. I don't know why I get emotional about that. I'm trying to be more balanced with my emotions, but maybe it's a, uh, anyhow, I love you and I have seen a door opening up in this dimension. Is that a portal? I don't know enough about this. I come at everything backwards. I entered this world breach. I see angels and dead people not knowing we were spirits in our bodies mandela effect it has slapped me in the face i don't know maybe you guys have answers and i love you